what's going on YouTube this is Necro Stevo and today in the Mega Overview series we're taking a look at Mega Glalie. Now Mega Glalie is actually not only a very unexpected Mega Pokemon uh, but it's also very interesting. It remains an ice type after it Mega Evolves but it does pick up the ability Refrigerate which if you don't know makes all your normal type moves turn into ice type moves and they get a 30% power increase so basically a life or power increase and then on top of that of course they're now ice type moves so Mega Glalie is going to get stab on top of that very very powerful moves there well we'll talk about those in a second looking at Mega Glalie's stats we see that he gets boost to his attack special attack and speed now I do wish he was a little bit faster maybe even take a little bit of that special attack and put it in the speed this is still fantastic though uh, Mega Glalie kind of really needed the attack buff he has more physical usage than special usage generally um, and of course on the physical side he can get burned but he can even run maybe even a mix set with this so we can see some very interesting things with his stats unfortunately base 100 speed is not going to generally be fast enough especially moving into uh, the ORS metagame just speed is going to be so important and 100 is just below where he needs to be uh, even Mega Diancy has 110 base speed. So while bumping it up by 20 points is nice, still not quite enough. Now, some set ideas, some things that we're definitely going to see, especially in my time on the Showdown Simulator. You're going to see Explosion and Return, just because, of course, those moves turn into Ice-type moves and then get the Refrigerate Life Orb bonus. And that means Explosion and Return are packing a massive wallop, which even something switching in that resisted will take some considerable damage from. Uh, good coverage options aside that are going to be things like Crunch and Earthquake, Glilly has a pretty shallow move pool, uh, and so it's going to be relatively predictable what moves he's running pretty quickly, uh, but Crunch and Earthquake give him pretty good neutral coverage. I also think we'll see spikes and three attacks just because Mega Glalie forces so many switches. Opportunities to set up spikes are going to be pretty numerous. Uh, and of course, Ice Shard, is going to be seen because, like I said, base 100 speed isn't really fast enough. Of course, it's the same base speed as uh, Jirachi or Celebi or any of those um, signature Pokemon from each gen. But it's being an ice type and being weak to so many types, not fast enough to be only 100 base speed. Uh, and then finally, I just want to throw this out there. A special set for Mega Glalie is quite viable. Um, of course, the special attack is the same as the physical attack. But something like Round, which starts off as a base 60 power move, will then turn into an ice type move and then get the refrigerate bonus around 79, I think, base power. And then from there, it's going to get the stab bonus, which is going to push it up over ice beam, basically. So if you're using Round and then, for example, in a double battle, you have a partner using Round, they'll get 120 base power move. And Glalie is already starting off with a pretty powerful move. So uh, similarly to the physical set, running Dark Pulse for neutral coverage with uh, Ice, and then even Water Pulse allows them to get pretty good neutral coverage with a above average special attack stat. Um, now some checks and counters, the first thing that came to my mind of course was Caldeo. Being a Water Fighting type means that it resists the Ice type moves and it resists the Dark type coverage move. Um, and of course, Caldeo also gets a boost from the, the in the justified ability from getting hit from it by a dark type move. And Earthquake being unstabbed, not going to do very much. Uh, so Caldeo was the first thing that came to my mind, just because it can hit back pretty easily, and Glalie's defenses aren't that great. Uh, of course, bulky water types are going to be able to kind of set up and stall Mega Glalie out, unless Mega Glalie uses something like Explosion or something really really powerful. He doesn't really have a way to raise his own stats. So anything that can restore its HP and stall, Mega Glalie is going to struggle with a little bit. It should be noted though that Round will go through a substitute, so Mega Glalie can handle things that like to substitute stall. Um, also generally, being an Ice type, uh, it's going to be weak to a lot of types of priority. Bullet Punch will be popular on things like Mega Lucario and Mega Metagross. And of course we have to deal with Mach Punch as well. And then just, it, it has just so many weaknesses that just fast moves can chip away at it so easily because he doesn't have that high of a base HP. And that means, of course, chip damage, stealth rocks. It also doesn't have levitate, so it's, it's, it's vulnerable to every single type of injury hazard, which is also not great. But with this, some good partners for Mega Glalie are uh, the first things that come to my mind are speed control. 
Um, things that can either slow down the opposition to make it easier for Mega Glalie, even if you're using Ice Shard, or things that can speed up Mega Glalie, such as Tailwind, are going to make him a lot more effective. He doesn't have to rely on uh, basically finishing things off. He can just sweep if he has a little bit of Tailwind support, or if he can get up Sticky Web. Um, and Talonflame is a special note that I want to make here, just because Talonflame can put up things like Tailwind, and also it checks a lot of the things that Mega Glalie can't overcome. Like a Bandit Talonflame or a Swords Dance Talonflame can easily break through some of those bulky water types. And of course, Keldeo doesn't even get a chance to attack because it gets outsped by a Priority Brave Bird. So just some ideas to keep in mind there with the uh, with partners for Mega Glalie. Now some interesting moves for uh, Aura's Mood Tutors, of course, Super Fang, Signal Beam, Iron Head, Dark Pulse, and Water Pulse. The most notable ones there, of course, are definitely going to be Dark Pulse and Water Pulse. And Iron Head to a lesser extent. Iron Head doesn't really offer any great coverage outside of hitting fairy types. And Super Fang could be interesting on a really bulky Mega Glalie, but that's not really the best idea with an Ice type. Not the best defenses. But Water Pulse and Dark Pulse do offer some interesting coverage options with some nifty secondary effects. So definitely worth a look there. So be sure to leave your thoughts on Mega Glalie in the comments. I'm interested if you guys think maybe it'll be more utilized if only because of that really powerful explosion type move or not explosion type move, explosion turning into an ice type move and then getting boosted 30% more. That's kind of awesome. So if you guys think you'll be using Mega Glalie, be sure to let me know and uh, be sure to keep an eye out for the next Mega overview coming up soon. All right, you guys have a good day. Bye bye.